Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to How To Be A Boss channel and today I want to talk to you about not being a woman's backup boyfriend which I liken to being a backup quarterback in American football. The quarterback is the most important position in all of team sports and with that important comes a lot of scrutiny and attention but also status, celebrity and huge compensation if you can perform at a high level. Basically, a highly proficient quarterback is a man living the American dream which is highly desirable to females. The backup quarterback is the reserve main man sitting on the bench who only gets called up to the action when the first choice is injured or not able to play. They are literally the forgotten man on the team and only get a chance when there is a disaster and the team needs a temporary feel rather than a long term solution. To all the guys out there, does this sound like a, a familiar scenario to you? There are many men out there who have had the misfortune, misfortune of being a woman's backup boyfriend or backup quarterback where the woman has her first choice and she only comes to you if there's a disaster situation with her number one man. The only problem here is that you're not told that you're the backup boyfriend as the woman doesn't want to minimize her options by telling you that you are second, third, maybe even fourth choice if her first preference lets her down. The Daily Mail found that 50% of women have a backup boyfriend waiting in the wings in case her present relationship doesn't work out. Apparently this backup boyfriend will be a person that the woman has known for several years who has always had feelings for her and she has strung along by giving him hope that one day they will be together. The article also states that women are much more likely to have a backup boyfriend than a man and I'm sure that many people watching this video knows females right now who are stringing guys along even though they can't be with them. Now we know that women can use men as their backup boyfriend and not care for their feelings. How do we spot signs that you are being used and not the first choice guy in her life? I've put together eight telltale signs that you are being used as the backup boyfriend. Point number one, the woman only wants a relationship on her terms. The woman is attractive and you think that there is a connection between you which can build on the long term. You feel that you are moving forward but every time you want to get closer to her she pulls away by establishing certain boundaries that you don't understand. She might only suggest to stay in her house st she might only suggest to stay in when her housemates are around or if you go out it will, it will be in a town outside of your present town where no one can recognize you. All these signals say that she doesn't want to be noticed out on the town with you as she doesn't want the word to go round which could influence her chances with other guys. Point number two, she, she only communicates when it's good for her. When you call or text her, she doesn't respond for hours, maybe even days, and you wonder what is going on. When she does reply, she tells you that she's really busy or it was an emergency that couldn't wait, whilst the real answer is that you are not high on her list of priority. So she responds to you when all of her, her most important girlfriends and boyfriends have been dealt with. She will also try to set up the communication where she can be the only one doing the calling. 
so you don't call or text her when she's with other men. This then gives her control of the speed and direction of the relationship and keeps enough communication with you to keep you satisfied but also to keep you at arm's length so the relationship can't develop. Point number three, she never has the weekends available for you. During the weekdays, most people go to work and they spend their weekends enjoying themselves with the people they are closest to. If a woman only wants to meet you after work, which is only limited to a few hours, as both of you have to go home to rest for the next day, then this is a massive red flag, especially if she never has time available for you on the weekends. She'll try and reframe, reframe the situation to say that she's giving you her time on the weekdays and she has friends she has known for years, so she needs to hang out with them on the weekends. If you're important to her, then she would be able to share her time with you and her friends, but that won't happen. Most likely on the weekends, she wants to spend time with her girlfriends or the top men on her list, which she believes have the potential to go forward. Unfortunately, you are not part of this list, which should ring alarm bells in your head. Point number four, she comes to you when she has financial problems. Do you notice that she only starts to contact you to hang out towards the end of the month? If there is a pattern where this happens over several months, then you need to be asking yourself why. Most companies pay their employees near the end of the month, which means that funds can start to run low when the bills start coming in, leaving little money left for going out or self-enhancement products that many females need. The woman may increase contact with you during these times of financial stress in the hopes that you'll pay her food, gifts, bills or rent. The last thing you want to do is to be a woman's backup boyfriend and also her backup bank balance when she runs low on funds. Point number five, you have never met her close friends or parents. If you are serious about a partner, then sooner or later, then sooner rather than later, you'll want them to meet the, the partner of your close friends first and then eventually their family members. If the woman never asks you to meet her friends, then I think that is a sign that she's not serious about you and you are the backup boyfriend. No matter what she says about being too busy or her friends are away, it's just an excuse for you not to get too close to her so she doesn't have to commit to you in any way. Here you have to look at her actions rather than her words and her actions are telling you that she doesn't want you to progress further with her. Point number six, she uses emotional promises to keep you hanging around. If you raise any of the issues above and say you don't spend enough time together on the weekends or why can't you initiate the communication or why she only comes to you when she has financial problems, then she might get the emotional promises out to keep you around. She doesn't want to be fully with you as she wants to see how it goes with her other guys at the top of her list. But she doesn't want to lose you either because she doesn't want to be alone if the top guys reject her. As you are into her more than she is into you, she'll start to try and make promise to you, promises to you about what will happen with you in the future to appeal to your emotional side to keep you around. What, will, what, you'll, what you'll find is that the promises won't come to fruition and you'll end up in the same place unless you make some ultimatums. Point number seven, she is not engaged emotionally when you are with her. When you are not fully into, into something, 
then you can't put your whole self into the situation. For example, when you watch a film that you're only 80% into, then it's hard to fully enjoy and emotionally engage in that particular film. This is the same, this is a similar experience when women go out with a backup boyfriend. They would prefer to go out with men that are their first choice, but they know that he might not choose her, so she needs an option to fall back on. She knows that she needs to do enough to keep her backup boyfriend happy, but emotionally and physically, she won't be there on the dates with the backup boyfriend. There will be signs that she's not fully engaged, such as not listening to 100%, maybe looking around the room at other guys when you're out in a restaurant or a bar, talking more vividly with other people when she's in your presence as she's glad to have a break from you. Point number eight, she never wants to define your relationship. Whilst a woman is waiting to secure her number one or number two ideal man, she needs to keep all the backup boyfriends in her orbit, but at the same time she doesn't want them to get too serious with her, otherwise it would spoil everything she has built up. Her game is twofold here. She wants the option to keep the backup boyfriends around until the ideal man commits to her, or to have a backup boyfriend ready to go if she gets dumped by all her top choices. The only way she can do this is by dangling the carrot to the backup boyfriends in terms of what she says, but also providing no long, to, no long term security in the event that she gets chosen by her first choice man. In conclusion, if you feel that you are a girl's backup boyfriend and you've seen some of these eight telltale signs in the girl you're seeing at the moment then my advice is to go and look for other girls because this girl is not committed to you and if you keep being in this situation as her backup boyfriend then she will string you along for as long as possible but she will also be looking to find her ideal guy but she doesn't want to tell you this. So you have to act on your own instinct and find a girl who really appreciates you for who you are and really wants to spend time with you as her first choice.